All right, let's talk about skill development drills. Now, I think we both agree where this fits in. We may not agree on how to do it, but where it fits in, you have to have learned how to do something first, right? First, we have right. to learn how to get the gun in the shooting position, good grip, decent trigger control, sight alignment, sight picture. Right. Once you've learned the skills, you have to develop it, and we both agree that drills are how we do that. That's correct. So let's talk about how we're gonna do drill. Right. So we've got kind of like your style targets and my style targets. Give me a drill. Well, to start off with, well, in, what are we gonna in our game, almost always you're gonna start with a draw. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to teach people how to do is to draw. So I don't have a timer here, but the draw is basically going to be the mechanics of coming out and shooting a shot. So you do it repeatedly, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times, until you don't even have to think about it so you can draw and shoot a one second draw. Um, the next step is to add shots to it. So I'm going to draw and shoot two shots. All right. So then there's the next one. Is so I work on that. So obviously I don't look for the sights because I see the sights. Because I've done all that work you talked sure, about before. Right, that's just there. So the next one is going to be target acquisitions. I'm going to come up and shoot them. All right. Then the next one is multiple shots on multiple targets. But I probably better load here because in a minute I'm going to go. God forbid you hit slide. I would hate to have yeah, that happen. God My God, how impractical. Okay, so that would be just a couple simple things. So I've done draws, multiple shots, target acquisitions, multiple shots on multiple targets. All right, check it out. All right. So now we're gonna come over here. So I'm with you, right? We're gonna work <laughs> on the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about from the ready, right? So we gotta, from a defensive standpoint, first of all, we're gonna make sure people can do this from the ready. So they're in a right. ready position. So, you, so you're, you're skipping the draw portion of it because you see that as another element. We're to gonna, right, we're gonna get it. So just right <coughs> from here, I wanna make sure they can drive that gun out and take the shot. Right. So again, we're not looking for the sights. Drive the gun out, kinesthetically aligned, drive the gun out, drive the gun out, drive the gun out, and take those shots. And once we're in the torso, then we start refining it. Now we're gonna try to get everything locked in. So we get everybody just getting the gun into the torso. Right. Then we get into the point where now they're here and they're really gonna get that head down. And this is what I see a lot of the competition guys hate is getting everything tense and locked in. But I wanna use that. I'm not worried about shooting a stage. I'm not worried about swinging right. around. I'm worried about the development because here comes the multiple shots. Once I get here and I get consistently inside that box, now I'm gonna look at multiple shots coming out and coming out knowing that I got big, massive engagement on my muscles, my back, and I can fire that shot. Now, if I get that tap rack, it doesn't work. So now I come back in, I get my reload gun, drive back out again, I'm back in the back same place. That's how we get to multiple shots, is we start here just getting in the torso anywhere, right. lock it in, get it in the box, and then once we're in the box, we throw out the multiple targets. Now we'll think about going from the holster. All right, now one of the things people don't like about the way we teach presentation in the holster is I don't want to teach it in isolation, right? So what I saw you doing in your drill was just isolated presentation of the shot. But we have to put bookends on that. I need to put that in a contextually appropriate place. So we talk about not being upright. When, we're, when we start people shooting, they're going to be pretty upright. Then we're going to right. lower their center of gravity and get them locked in. And we saw that's how we went from just the torso to inside the high center chest. But now what we're going to do is we're going to let that happen more naturally. So we're going to simulate this startle reaction, right? That, so you're starting here. Right, or you're even starting here. Right. I'm going in and throwing that movement, that athletic setting of the body in. Right. Then I'm reaching for the gun, and we may as well move while we're doing it. Then I'm going to drive out and take that shot. Then I'm going to come back in. I'm going to assess. I'm going to make sure I don't need to shoot anybody else. I'm going to collect and process information, and then I'm going to get that gun back into the holster. Right. So every time it's this, even when we're doing those multiple shot strings. Right. So I'm throwing movement in, I'm throwing in these bookends of assessment, and then I'm going back to the holster so that the skill is being developed in context. Because right. the number one thing I see, problems people coming out of the competition world, really good at skills in isolation, but not so good at the skills in context. Right. Why don't we switch? Right. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go ahead and do that thing you do where I grab a, a fresh fresh-ish magazine. Yep. Put, I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. Put some rounds in there. All I want you to do is do one-shot draws. Give me a couple one-shot draws. One-shot draws. Now you got to remember, <clears throat> the competition world means <sighs> this isn't high enough, believe it or not. Okay. Tell if me your hands are up, you have to be wrists above I gotta the shoulders. you got to be full French. I or you can be, right. you can be total French position surrendering <laughs> or totally put your hands surrendering down. Totally surrendering and just Go in and no, no command, just go into yep, here, just, taking the shot. Right. Right? And that's so weird for me if you come up from up here, because here's where I would be protecting, but up here, okay. So I come up here, come out, get or that shot. Or you can shot. do hands down, same difference. All right. You can do hands, hands down. down. Well, what's, now in some games it's this, in some games it's this? They can specify which. But there are the two start positions are hands relaxed at sides. Hands relaxed at sides. Right. So okay, there you so go. So I come up from here now. Right. And that's and because you know I'm just relaxed. I'm hanging out. Oh, I'm gonna wire it up. I'm gonna duel you. Right. And that's what that is. All right. Now shooting right. twice. So now I'm gonna come. I'm right here. I'm gonna come up. I'm gonna shoot. Yep. All right. And now I'm gonna come from here. All right. 
So you're developing all the techniques we have to have in competition, okay. which apply to your world as long as you put them in context, right? Right, right, okay. right, right. Target, target. One on each. Okay, one on each. So yep. we go from low. Faster. All right. I know you're faster than that. So I'm going to come up here. There you go. I would always be pushing the speed until you lost action. And so today, for whatever reason, I'm riding that slide stop for sure. Eh, that's all right. That's all right. Okay. So see, there's what it, that's where I see a lot of competition guys will just stop. Wait a minute, I wasn't supposed to click. Right, what, what right. happened? Ah. Well, okay. we get overs, right? Get, 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 do it over, do it over. <laughs> Two on each. Go high. Perfect. Go back and forth and back again. One, two, one. And I'm out. I can go to the table. Yep. Is that legal? Can I do that in competition? You can't now. All right. So perfect. So you've practiced all the fundamental techniques wait, that we in use. Your, in your classes, I'm supposed to shoot the bug. You right? have to shoot the bug. One shot, you get one shot. Oh! That's oh. what I do. That's what I do. Jeez. Yeah. All right, back to the drill. Wait, back to the drill. All right. Blood and guts yeah, blood on. And gut. Don't worry about that. Don't that, worry about that. That's Let's the, move the on. shot of the, vi that's the, shot of the lifetime. To, nobody's supposed to know I can shoot. Okay, you're right. Okay, so now we're going to throw an IDPA element in it. The rule is, if it's specified, you can't shoot a target twice until you've shot everybody once. So you literally have to go one, one. Well, you're already here, so you're going to shoot him twice now. Okay. So it's going to sound like one, two, one, head, head. One, two, one, head, head. Right. Is, and you have to follow oh, that order, or there'll I, be a penalty for do you, it. There'll do you be an find <laughs> that is there an urban? I I'm not a good dancer, and this feels a lot. I like do it because tried it's to get required by the rules. All right. the, the value from skill building one, is two, one, head, head. the value from skill building is you're doing the most possible target acquisitions Got it. and two hard shots. Can you say beep? Stand by. Ready? Ready. Beep. <laughs> there you go. I, so now you're an IDPA-ish IPS. <laughs> yeah, it was a meep. <clears throat> So, right. so the, the value skill-wise right. is you're practicing draws, you're practicing target acquisitions, you're practicing uh, multiple shots on targets, and you're practicing failure drills shooting at the heads. Got it. So you had to go to a smaller target. All right, head over here. All right. Now let's talk about this. So here's what I want you to do. We're going to go over here, and here's how I'm going to have you practice the failure drill, right? So the idea of shooting the heads, we've got this triangle up here, and that's great. We've also got these numbers, and the thing is, you don't know when this is going to happen. Right, so you don't know when drill, it's not going to work. I want you to process information, so I'm going to give you that up command. You can go from, you know, from just relax to here, get the gun out, drive out, and just shoot three to five shots into the high center chest on the up command. Every once in a while, I might call it a number. If okay. I call it a number, you, you put the brakes on it, you, you look at that number, you drive out, and you take one good, smooth, precise shot into the circle that contains that number. On the number. Okay. And it might happen while you're assessing, because every time you shoot a string, I want you to stop, not go right back to the holster, actually stop, feign an assessment, collect some information, then go back to the holster. Wait, but I don't want to put the gun away. I want to leave it out where, it's, where I can use it more better. You've got to put the gun away so that we can simulate. <laughs> so you have rules? I thought you didn't have rules. Well, I don't like your here's rules. Here's the rule. There's no point in practicing <laughs> walking around the mall like this, right? Because they're probably going to kick you out of the mall, all right? So let's practice from the holster. Here we go. All right. All right. So hey, you're talking to me. You relax, right? You relax. And then I thought, that's I thought you wanted happen. me in this. No, that's going to happen, right. right? So go from this to that. All right, okay. Up. Four. Ah, good. See, now watch. Holster. That, all right. Now, first of all, you didn't assess. First, but. But yeah, you got the hit. Look at the shot right, right in the middle of the four. But you didn't need it at the middle. You see it anywhere, so they're all equal. But check this out. You don't. I. You drove that gun out and did like this, looking for the four. I'm exaggerating. Do you even know that you did that? No. So. Well, instant, wait a minute. I, slow motion. So you told me to shoot the four. I said four. I shot the four. But you drove out. So what? Before you even knew where the four That's was. That's because I knew I had to shoot, and I wanted to get the gun out there. So, so let me tell you. Here's how this works in my world, right? In my world, you're at the mall. Somebody starts shooting people at the mall. You know you need to shoot. Right. You pull your gun out and you start doing this, looking for the guy you need to shoot, and then the police come around the corner. What do you look like? You look like the guy who needs to be shot. So we aren't going to drive that gun out until we see the four. Once we know we've seen the four, then we drive out. So we don't want to be looking for the target out here. We want to keep that gun in. Plus, that we don't want to swing. Remember earlier, watch this. Remember earlier you were shooting at these targets? Yeah. Now, as soon as you started your transitions, a bunch of those shots were over here, right? Because right. you were swinging. Right. And you know that, but it's good enough. You're still in the right area. Right. But all of a sudden, if you had to slow that down and do a headshot, it would take you more time, right? right? So what we say is, well, A, swinging to a target that you aren't even sure exists could get you hurt, and B, it's a hell of a lot easier, especially for somebody who doesn't have your skill, not to try to slow that down and take the shot, but to turn and drive out to the shot, okay. and then I have to worry about the swing. So what you're saying, when I finished the body shot, I, I, as well as I remembered, I shot a bunch on the body and came back in, 
and then you told me to go to four. Right. You don't care how quick I hit four. Not at all. Because I want it to. But well, what to, if the timer's running, Rob? Well, the timer's always running. The problem is you can't time assessment. You okay. can't time acquiring the target in the gotcha. real world. Okay, well I never even thought about that. For me the standpoint is as soon as you gave me a command, it didn't matter what the sure. number, and by the way, why are you always picking on me with a four thing? I'm you're so good thing. at four. I'm you're suck so at four. four. Let's try it again. All right. You hit it. So I'm shooting Relax. the whole thing, shooting the whole thing again? Well, it depends. You're All gonna right. do whatever I say. So we're talking. We're talking. All right, and then you got threats around here when I say up. All right, when you feel like there's no threat, you can go ahead and holster again. Two. Up. Okay, now, what just happened? I shot so many rounds out of the gun that I was fairly certain I should load it after I was now finished that You've got that string. A, one of the classic XDM magazines in there. <laughs> that thing holds like 750 rounds. Remember, in our simulation, in that drill, you only fired three rounds you only fired one round at the two, that's four rounds. So arbitrarily topping off then, what that's gonna keep you from doing is experiencing that slide lock in the middle of a string of fire. Because if I'd have called up one more time, you had three rounds left, you would have hit slide lock and it would have drilled the stimulus response pattern for a slide lock emergency reload. That's what we would be after. Okay, load, and that's load that so that I don't know how many are in it. Make me do it again. Make you do it I again. I want to do it. I, right, I, I right. want to do it, but I got to not know how many is in it. All right. Because I can feel the weight of the gun. And sure I you can. can. All I right, can. give me your gun. You got spare mags? I got a, right. yeah, you got I two. Up! Cool. Now, here's what we're going to see when we zoom in on I that. I don't believe you that we're done. Holster. <laughs> so, here's what we're going to do. I don't, don't I don't believe you. Don't you don't believe me. You're gonna trip. <laughs> I knew it. There you go. I knew, I knew you'd get the shot. But look, as soon as you get pulled out of the, of the drill, the skill, you haven't developed the skill, what I would consider the skill, of always, after you shoot, coming back to the ready and pausing. I would agree with you and completely. So you, just, you shot that, went right back to your holster. I would agree and with that's you completely. What, the other thing you're gonna see is now you came out expecting to do multiple shot strings of fire. And what everybody's gonna see is one of the greatest shooters in history of shooting, arguably you know, the most accomplished professional shooter on the history of Earth, and currently <laughs> 30 years of ruling Earth <laughs> with guns, pull on an empty magazine, pull on an empty gun. Because you, you were running that trigger so fast, it took you a while to process the fact that slide lock happened. Now, you know what slide lock feels sure. like, but in the middle of this drill, there was still that, and then the recognition of, of slide lock, and then you went ahead. That's what we're trying to drill, is let that happen here, so that you know what it's going to be like out there, right. and that's really the difference between that that more choreographed drill and this more random drill. 